So hello everyone, are you like Sophia? Do you wanted to know more about chicken pox? Let us tell you more information about it. Let's go! So, what is chicken pox? Chicken pox or varicella is a very common childhood infection caused by the varicella zoster virus. It is most common in children and it is usually mild. When adults get it, however, they can get very sick. So, some fact is that varicella zoster virus is the same virus that can cause shingles and it is highly contagious disease spread from person to person. Chickenpox is a childhood disease and it is harder to fight the older you get. Although many people think of chickenpox as a childhood disease, adults are still susceptible too. Everybody knows that you need to get chickenpox when you are young. Once you've had it, you may never catch it again. And it's way worse for adults than it is for little children since it can be very deadly and your risk of getting chicken pox only increase the older you get. So, how does a chicken pox virus spread? First is direct contact. It is spread from person to person through direct contact with the virus. You can get a chicken pox if you touch a blister or the liquid from a blister of someone who infected with chicken pox. You can also get chicken pox if you touch the saliva of a person who has chicken pox and and lastly, when you are close to the person with chicken pox, the virus enters the body by the nose or mouth and can make you sick. Second spread is spreading through airborne particles. It can also be spread to you through the air if you are near someone with chicken pox who is coughing or sneezing. Last but not least, spreading from mother to child, which is first in pregnancy. A pregnant woman with chicken pox can pass it on to her baby before birth and mothers with chicken pox can also give it to their newborn babies after birth. Most of the disease has its own myth and facts. So, what is the myth versus facts? For chicken pox. First myth is that people with chicken pox are not allowed to take bath. Older generation believe that people who have chicken pox are not allowed to take bath not until the rash or blisters dry. The reason is that the rash may take longer time to heal and may spread even more if the skin contacts with water. So the fact that people who have chicken pox are encouraged to take bath as usual, which is for hygienic purposes and to prevent further infection on the existing rash. Next myth is that there is food restriction for people with chicken pox. Children or adults are not allowed to take certain types of protein such as chicken and egg as they believe that it will cause itchiness and worsen the symptoms of chicken pox. So fact is that there are no food restrictions in chicken pox as long as the patient does not have any food allergies. To add, they also need to take a healthy balanced diet for faster recovery. So last myth is that people with chicken pox should drink coconut water for rapid healing. This because people believe that by drinking coconut water, it can help the rash or blister to pop up quickly, thus shorten the recovery process and it also believes that coconut water can help cool down body temperature. So the fact is there are no studies that shows that coconut water helps in rapid recovery. However, it helps in rehydrating. The important key here is to ensure that patients with chicken pox must drink a lot of water to avoid dehydration. Let's look into on how to prevent the chicken pox. First, we need to look into the early signs and symptoms. It includes fever, usually worse in adults than children, loss of appetite, headache, and tiredness. Once the chicken pox rash appears, it goes through three phases. First, red or pinkish bumps, in which also known as papules, it will break out over several days. The second phase is small fluid filled blisters or vesicles, in which form in about one day and then break and leak. Lastly, is the cross and scalp lesions. It will cover the broken blisters and take several more days to heal. Next, let's explore on who are actually at risk. First, those who are not pre vaccinated will have higher risk to have chicken pox. 90% of unvaccinated people who come in contact with the virus will wind up with the illness. Second, those who have never had chicken pox. Once you have had chicken pox, your body will develop a lifelong immunity to it, so that even very direct contact with the very cellar virus isn't likely to make you sick. But if you have never had chicken pox, you are at a high risk of getting sick if you are around others who have the illness. 
it is also important to know what are the complications of chicken pox. Chicken pox is normally a mild disease that it can lead to serious complications when the rash spreads to your eyes. The rash is very red, tender, and warm as the signs of a secondary bacterial infection. The rash is accompanied by dizziness or shortness of breath. Serious complications from chicken pox include infection or swelling of the brain, infection of the bloodstream or bleeding problems, bacterial infection of the skin, and infection of the lungs. But do bear in your mind, chicken pox can also cause death, but deaths are very rare now due to the vaccine program. Chicken pox also has delayed complication, which is shingles. Shingles is an infection of a nerve and the area of skin supplied by the nerve. It causes a rash and pain in a band-like local area along the affected nerve. How does it happen? It happens because the virus does not completely go after the chicken pox and it may begin to reactivate. The reactivated virus travels along the nerve to the skin to cause shingles. What to do if you have chicken pox? Keep yourself isolated at home until the rash has crested, which is about 7 days. Drink plenty of water and wash your hands. Wear loose fitting and cotton fabric to help stop the skin from becoming sore and irritated. To manage itchiness, keep your fingernails clean and short. To prevent any skin damage from scratching, apply calamine lotion or cooling gels. Take antihistamine medicine if the itch is very bad or you have trouble sleeping. Treatment for chicken pox. Painkillers. Paracetamol is the preferred painkiller for treating this, as it has a small risk of NSAID, such as ibuprofen, that can cause adverse skin reaction during chickenpox. Avoid taking ibuprofen if you have asthma or stomach problem. For pregnant women, paracetamol is the first choice and can be used at any stage of pregnancy. Ibuprofen can only be taken during the second trimester. Oral antiviral medicine. It works by stopping the spread of varicella zoster virus. It inhibits the replication of the virus in the body, thus lowering the ability of the virus to multiply. Ideally, when it is given within the first 24 hours of the onset of rash in children, the number of lesions and the time until crusting are reduced. It does not cure chickenpox, but it makes the symptoms less severe. Immunoglobulin treatment Immunoglobulin treatment, it is a varicella zoster immunoglobulin injection, which contains antibodies to the chickenpox virus. It is used to treat people who are at high risk of developing a severe chickenpox infection. VZIG provides fast protection but is not long-lasting. As the supply of VZIG is limited, it will only be considered if a high-risk person has been significantly exposed to the virus, has been in the same room for 15 minutes with someone who has chickenpox, and also had a blood test to confirm that they have not had chickenpox before. Does chickenpox has vaccine? Of course it does. Vaccination Chickenpox vaccine is needed to protect people who are most at risk of a serious chickenpox infection or of passing the infection onto someone who is at risk. For instance, healthcare workers who are not already immune or people living with someone who has weakened immune system. Remember, the vaccine is not suitable for pregnant women and also people with weakened immune system. Some people who are vaccinated against chickenpox may still get the disease. However, the symptoms are usually milder with fewer or no blister and mild or no fever. How to prevent the spreading of chickenpox? Firstly, wipe any objects or surface with a sterilizing solution. Make sure that any infected clothes or bedding is washed regularly. Avoid traveling on plane until 6 days after the last spot has appeared. Next, stay isolated at home for at least 7 days. Avoid contacts with pregnant women, newborn babies, and a person who has weakened immune system. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoy. Bye!